All right, whenever I do a new project and I get uh, pretty much to the finish of it, I like to see if I can incorporate the uh, latest projects and some of my other projects. It's, it's always fun to see if there's anything that I've learned from the other projects that applies to the new project. So what this is is the uh, UFO politics asymmetric motor, electric motor, that has uh, two halves of a motor glued together basically to make like a motor generator type thing. It has four contact points. Uh, two of them across this way are drivers and two of them across this way are generators, the way this is configured today. And uh, the problem with the thing is it draws a lot of amperage but it has a lot of torque at the same time and if you run it on 12 volts like that, overheats in a hurry. It draws way over 2 amps. The little motor's not rated for it and you cook it. So I thought of a way to slow it down a little bit by putting a ballast resistor in it. This is a 10 ohm, 10 watt ballast resistor. You get them at Radio Shack. And it worked. It worked like a champ. Cut it down to about 4 volts from that uh, 12 volt battery and dropped the amp draw from about 3 amps down to about 1 amp. Ran slow, but it ran quite well. So anyway, uh, it worked, but the problem is this thing got super hot. And I'm going, oh, well, that's great. The motor's not getting hot, but the ballast resistor's now cooking. But then I figured out, if I put that on a felt -A module with a heat sink on the bottom and let the air temperature cool this side off and let the ballast resistor heat up that side, I bet I can recover some of the energy that's coming out of that battery, its waste, and make it run something. And it worked work like a champ. The other thing I want to show today was I'm coming off of the generator part of this into a Slayer Exciter. And uh, UFO um, said that to, to do this effectively off the generator you got to put a capacitor here and it was true. You need to put a capacitor on the output to really make this uh, work. But I had this hooked up today on one wire going to a 110 volt bulb that I've taken the guts out of it. It's an LED bulb. A few watts is all that is. But then uh, I've got a neon here too. I'm going to show light up and that lights up at about 70 volts. So this is a way to take the energy out of this little motor generator and bump it. Bump the voltage up. So let me turn this on. I'll show you what's going on. Now this is at room temperature now. Both sides. And if I had a temperature gauge I'd show you. It's about uh, 80 degrees in here. It's a warm day. And this is going to cook on up to about 115, 120 degrees. And that temperature differential, like I've shown in some of my other videos, is enough to run that pulse motor. That little pulse motor only takes about a quarter of a volt, but it takes uh, at least 30 milliamps to run it. So let me hook this up. Okay, the energy's coming out of the battery now. It's going through the ballast resistor heating up the ballast resistor, going into the motor generator, coming out of the generator part, and lighting up my exciter. You can see that LED is on, or that neon is on right there. Here's the 110 bulb. Now I'm going to unload the generator by detuning this. And listen to the RPM go up as I unload the generator. So that is truly acting like a motor generator the way I have this configured. Okay, now this is hot to the point where I can't touch it now. Energy is going over here. I'm going to start this little motor here. And there goes this little motor. And this is running off of energy created by the felt -A module that I'm using uh, in a backwards way like the, um, the uh, thermoelectric generator here hot side on this side, cold side on that side, goes to the Seebeck effect, uh, felt -A, and uh, our TIG, thermoelectric generator, and there's my, there's my motor running. 
Now what's really, really cool about this is this heat energy is being contained somewhat, like a capacitive thing or a battery. Now I'm going to unplug the battery here, and that heat doesn't go away instantly. Everything stops over here instantly. But this little motor, it doesn't care. As long as it's got a heat differential, it's running away. And this runs for maybe a minute or so. Let me stop it. I'll start it back up so you don't think it's inertia. Now this is only about a quarter of a volt, maybe 30 milliamps. I thought that was an interesting way to recover some of the lost heat, the lost energy in a system by using this felt A module with this motor generator set up. But anyway, that's my little uh, show for today, the uh, combination of several projects uh, incorporated into one experiment. Thanks for watching.